up? This is KC, the Red Pill Alpha. Back at you fellas again with that motherfucking heat. Wrists, elbows, knees, feet, shin to the back of her motherfucking neck. Holding her down with this motherfucking game. Submerging up underwater with this motherfucking game. She gonna get it. Oh yeah. Please like, share, subscribe. Hit the notification bell. As soon as I'm done, you already know. Piping the hot status. It's coming through your phone. All ear candy. All game. You got any comments? Get at me in my Gmail. RailsFargo12 at gmail.com. That's R-E-L-L-S-F-A-R-G-O-1-2 at gmail.com. Or you get at me at YouTube. I'm all ears. Are you the cleanup man or rest haven for these hoes? Or both? Which one are you? Or do you collectively... Inherit both of them motherfuckers. I never worked for Deaf and Ball. If you in Kansas City, that's a trash recycling company. I never worked for Deaf and Ball. I never worked for no sewage um, company, like no recycling bin company or scrap metal yard recycling. I never done those kind of work, you know, especially the trash work. It's grunchy, it's dirty, it stink. I ain't with that shit. That ain't me. However... A lot of you fellas are with that shit. <laughs> and you know you with the shit. You the cleanup man. How many of you dudes? And before we get into it, I got my experiences. I've been a cleanup man before. I've done some cleanup man shit in my ship days. I've, I've done that shit. Let me explain it. A cleanup man is a person that's inheriting. The next man's bullshit, which means his bitch, his chick, could be his ex-wife, could be his baby mama, could have just been his chick. She coming to your life. She got a little aggression to her. She got a smart ass mouth. She ain't got a problem. She got no problem not. A problem not what whatsoever. Putting her motherfucking hands in your face. Talking loud in public. Disrespecting you. You biting your tongue for the sake of the love. For the sake of um not trying to make a scene and embarrass you, her, and yourself or the family or whatever. You put up with all her shit that she came from the next dude with. The DNA she got up in it. The soul she just snatched from out of all these dudes. She the shit. Or she done knocked it up out of them. You already know what I mean by that. <laughs> yeah. Bitch left a trail of bodies. Fucking Green River Killer Ted Bundy type bitch. She left a trail of bodies. I mean, dude, she the slaughter. She the went through a lot of these dudes. You sitting up here back washing different dudes' pipes. She 33, 34, 35, 30, better. Some cases, 28, 29, shit, 27, or better. You thinking you got one. You thinking you got some rare, some diamond in the, in, in the rough, some, you know, she got to take this motherfucking. I found this in the trash and clean it up. Great memorabilia, you know. Great souvenir. I like the artwork. Van Gogh. Um, Leonardo da Vinci. Um, Napoleon Dynamite. Son, you think you got something out that motherfucking trash? You dumpster diving like a motherfucker. You see these homeless people around? Right they dumpster dive, looking for something that's of value. Food, something that's valuable, money, clothes, whatever they look for. You do the same motherfucking shit by inheriting the next dude's bitch when she's coming in your life with all them problems. Come in your life, that motherfucking attitude. Oh, yeah. Come and go as she please. She gets mad at the smallest motherfucking thing. Y'all had the smallest argument. I mean, dude, y'all could have had the smallest motherfucking argument on earth, man. She make it this big. She go run off, go stay with her mama. 
She's going to stay with her parents, her daddy, her brother, her sister. She's going to stay with some friends. She's going to stay with somebody. To get away from you at that time. You feeling, okay, my woman needs space. We've been arguing. We ain't been seeing that, that, that. So you allow her to have that space. Four, five days, six days, seven days, two weeks. It don't matter. You allow her to have that space. When you know your woman. When she's around you and she, she's got your interest, you got her interest, what she is, she's all on you. She wants that dick. 24, she want to get piped down 24-7. But you allow her to have this space, though. The fuck you think's happening? While you being a rest haven for her, her family and them are rest havens for her, too. They protecting her against you. They know she's out here sneaking around fucking other dudes. Her mom and daddy them know that. Fucking aunties, grandmother, the grand grandparents still alive. They all know that. That's their bloodline. You think they gonna tell you that? Why you going looking for? Oh, it's been too long. Damn, she need that much space. It's been too long because she got her interest in somebody else. She's caught up with somebody else. That's what they do. They monkey branch they ass from you to the next motherfucker on the smallest motherfucking argument. On the smallest motherfucking fight. They turn the smallest thing big. Pay attention to that. The reason why they turn the smallest thing big because they're trying to escape you. They're trying to find a way away from you so they can go fuck with somebody else. It ain't they friends they're going to go fuck with. Friends going to say something, make them punch her in the mouth. They start fighting. They so they, <laughs> they don't be around these bitches like that all the time. Hell no. It's the dudes, man. Different dudes, different pipes, different, different touches, different... You know, motherfucking her ear while he piping it down, telling her all this bullshit. Different dudes talking to her. Your bitch is a, the bitch is a hoe. Flat out, man. That's who she is. It's a motherfucking hoe. But you took her in, though. You made her yours. You thought it was a great, you thought this, you thought you found this motherfucking trophy, man. And it's the best thing. You got it close to your heart. Until you found out who the fuck she really is. Oh, she came to you wearing the motherfucking mask, man. The most beautiful mask you ever seen. Why? Because she's a narcissistic person. Narcissistic people, that's what they do. They offer themselves. You know? They offer themselves. Oh, if you wouldn't have paid that bill, if you wouldn't have went through and done this, if you wouldn't have did this, you wouldn't have gave me the money I wanted, if you wouldn't have did this, did that, I wouldn't have never stepped out, I wouldn't have never had to go seek it from the next man. But you do all this shit for her, though. You told her no once. Just one time. The bitch need to hear no the rest of her motherfucking life. But you told her no once. She made you eat that motherfucking no, right? Oh, yeah. You got bitches out here like that. Make you thinking, I can't never tell my woman no. I'm not going to tell her no. Hell no. She's going to get attitude. She ain't going to want to be with me no more. Some of you niggas is living on eggs like that, bro. Walking on eggshells to keep a bitch by your side. Because her ass jiggled. Because she knock it down decent. She know how to smile when she doing it. She not look into your eyes when she doing it. The sex may be 100. You you feel this motherfucker's that heat. That's the Jezebel effect. That's within this bitch. She's controlling you with it. She's controlling you with this evil. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, it's evil as a motherfucker, man. You may think I'm going above and above and beyond with this, man. But these bitches know what they doing, man. They Next close thing to motherfucking Satan, man. And I only want to disrespect women like that. At times, bro, these women do not have a heart. They are heartless. They don't give a fuck. So you'll make, it'll make you think, damn, did they come from God? Did they come from Satan? Where the fuck these women come from? Because they ain't on your page. They don't think like you. They don't value loyalty like you value loyalty. They adapt to survival. That's how women are. So if she's not getting things from you, or if she's not getting along with you, she's going to adapt to survival. She's going to go where she can get along with the next person there, and she can get things from the next person there. That's how she is. Especially if she got kids. That's how they are. They don't give a fuck. They don't care. And once they see that that shit ain't jumping off right like they wanted to do, like they wanted to, you know, she wanted to be great. She want everything to be peaches and cream. She want glitter to, 
she want gold to turn into glitter, glitter to turn into gold. She want everything in her, you know, that, that she that she feel that she deserves, that she feel that she yearns. She want all that shit from over there, but she don't get it. So what she do? She creep her ass right back to you. Her comfort zone. Her rest haven. Now let's talk about that. Mr. Cleanup, man. You cleaned up, you cleaned up everybody's motherfucking trash. Every nigga around the block. They had a pipe. Every, every motherfucker had a block around the block. They had a pipe. You never know who been dicking it down. She with her last baby daddy. They cheating on each other and shit. He cheating on her. She cheating on him. He putting his foot up her ass. If not half of it, all that motherfucker going up her ass. He slapping her upside her head, punching in her mouth. Some of these women running around with fake ass teeth in their mouth because dudes have battled them. I do. I seen a lot of that shit. That's because she hurt that man. That's why they, they she hurt they they hurt these men like that. That's why they go through all that bullshit. They hurt men like that. But look, check this out, man. We all get hurt, man. We all get hurt. You just gotta know that there's something better for you. This life is better. It's whole life ahead of you. You just gotta know that. Lock that in your mind. Everything is just temporary. Ain't nothing here forever. Lock that in your mind. You won't be so happy to inherit the next man's motherfucking trash. She's bringing all these problems to you. Coming from another dude. All this shit come from different dudes. Now let's talk about you being a rest haven for these hoes. Man. We catch rest havens all the time, don't we? we go on to Instagram. Uh, Snapchat. Facebook. Uh, Twitter. Tinder, Hinge, um, um, black people meet, everybody meet, <laughs> go on all these motherfucking uh, dating sites and little social apps, and you're going to see dudes in that motherfucking checking bitches, man, and you're going to see dudes in the comments, man, getting ready. If, they, if they can bust through the goddamn phone and snap a nigga neck for talking bad to that bitch, they'll do it, you'll see that shit, you see it all the time. Niggas be in rest haven for these hoes. And they know what they are. She know what she is. Motherfucker called her out on her shit, bitch. You's a hoe. You ain't talking about nothing. I know you from back in woo 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 That just went on the other day on my shit. I'm like, damn. He clowned her ass. She like, yeah, I, I remember you. So what? You know me. So what? We, we, we got down. That's been so long ago. That was back in 2013. Bitch, that ain't a long time ago. He know he, he, he stuffed your throat down back then. You know what's up. He checked her on there because she tried to come at him on some shit. So he checked her. It was um Facebook. Yeah, Facebook. He checked her on there. Checked the drawers up her ass. Man, my seven motherfucking simps was in there getting on dude. Man, fuck you, man. Won't you block that nigga? This and that. Getting on him. Being a rest haven for this hoe. And some dude know they into it. It's something that she admitted that she know him. At her own admission, she know this dude. So he ain't lying up. It's something he ain't lying. But there's so many dudes that was in there being a rest haven for that hoe. Oh, baby, come over here. It's all right, baby. Yeah, come over here. I'll kill him. Come over here. He shouldn't talk about you like this. He shouldn't talk to you like this. Prostitutes need love, too. Hoes need love, too. Sluts need love, too. A dick eater need love too. Come on, man. That motherfucking bitch deserves to keep her in the motherfucking streets, man. You don't save no motherfucking stray. It's like bringing a motherfucking dog in your motherfucking house, shitting worms everywhere. Motherfucking cat coming in your motherfucking house, tearing up motherfucking every damn thing because he got no home training. These are stray ass animals. That's how these hoes are, man. You keep them the fuck away from you. They run around with pesticides and diseases. Look at them like that, pimp. You got to look at them like that. Can't be a rest haven for them, man. You can't be. A lot of you guys are rest haven for these hoes, man. Playing next tour. Know it damn well. You know in the back. Of, you know in your heart that she's tiptoeing around. You know in your heart that she's flirting like a motherfucker at her job. At her workplace. You know in, her heart, in your heart. She's a big flirt everywhere she go. You 
can't allow none of your friends over to your house at game time because you know she, she's eyeing one of your homies. One of your homies could be eyeing her. You know this in your heart, but you got love for your homie and you love your bitch. So you torn in between the two like a little old hoe. Well, you can just let her go, man. Kick her on to this. Come on, man. You already know. Some of you dudes know this about your woman, but you're keeping her around for the sake of, I got a woman, for the sake of, I'm in love, for the sake of um telling the next man, yeah, man, I'm going to get out of work now, man, I'm going to go crack this beer, man, eat this dinner, man, got my bathtub, you know, you you know, you know, running off at the mouth about the shit you got going at home when you know goddamn well it ain't like that. You got to pull teeth to make this bitch do something. Got to twist her motherfucking arm, man, just to make her rub your goddamn back after working 15 hours and you paying everything in the motherfucking house. Come on, man. I've done clean up shit before. In the past, when my simp days, yeah, I've been through that shit. That's why I can bring it to you now. I know what it is. You cannot be no rest haven for no for none of these chicks, bro, that do not want to be protected. Do not want the security. She do not want the support. She wants the streets. Because it's her soul. It's her DNA. That's her roots. The streets. That's who the fuck she is. Without the streets, she ain't completed as a woman. Without different dicks. Without platonic friends and different dudes being in her DMs and all that, she ain't completed as a woman. She don't feel whole. She feel you can't do it alone. You can't do it by yourself. You need to share the attention with everybody else. She feel that shit, man. But you still love her. She asks you she wants space. You go chase her down with a ring. We go get a ring. We lock her down. She ain't going nowhere. I'm going to get all these flowers. I'm going to set the date. I'm going to invite every motherfucker. I'm going to invite everybody that the motherfuckers don't even like me. I'm going to invite them. Come on, come on. We need to get married. I don't want my woman to jump board. I don't want my woman to monkey branch. I don't want my woman to skip on me. She going to do that anyway, bro. She's going to do that anyway. If it's in her heart, it's in her fucking heart. Ain't nothing you can do about it. You can't change no motherfucking like that. You can't do nothing but let that bitch die alone. Or let her die with a motherfucking simp. Fucker. And I ain't talking about, you know, committing crimes and doing all that shit. You know what I mean, man. Let her die alone. You don't be the motherfucker to put no ring on her motherfucking finger. You don't take her to the altar. You'll be the motherfucker that, that turn around and, you know what I'm saying, and, and put your all into her. And you know what type of chick she is. It's your baby mama. It's your ex-wife. This your wife or this is your girlfriend. You know what type of bitch she is, but you refuse to let her go. Because you love her. You feel you got these years in her. You feel you got these investments and you indebted. You're indebted to one another. And all. Man, break that shit and take your loss. It's going to get greater later. Trust me, man. It's going to get greater, man. Just break that bitch. Break that shit and take your loss. Keep pushing, man. Do not be a rest haven for these hoes, man. They're coming around you with all these motherfucking... Invisible baggage. Once you get to know her, the beautiful ass mask she was wearing all the time. Come on. Crack up. So on the pop, that's the end of you. Now you sitting around, depressed, crazy. You ain't never smoked cigarettes. You smoking cigarettes now. You probably drunk a couple beers after work. Now you drinking a couple beers, smoking cigarettes, rolling up a blunt, taking a line up your nose. You doing all type of shit now. Tapping that vein, you doing all type of shit now. Behind a bitch. That's what that shit will lead you to. If you don't break that shit, you find yourself get too deep in and too attached with these narcissistic ass, scandalous ass women. It's going to bring you down, pimp. Let her go. Let her go, man. Like this shit. Share this shit. It's the message. The young fellas, you need to hear this. If the OGs ain't told you where the rest haven is, I'm telling you now. It's a simp who captain saved and saved a motherfucking hoe. That's all the rest saving is. That's all it is. It's a motherfucker that's it's like a homeless shelter. You, you allow any motherfucker up in that motherfucker. You got food for them. You got a cot where they can sleep. 
got a hot bath water, you got bad the tub waiting on them and shit. You know, man, that's what a rest haven is, man. You a big ass home for hoes. That's what a rest haven is, pimp. And you youngsters like this shit. Share it to the rest of them youngsters, man. They need to hear this shit, bro. Holla.